Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time joining us, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'd be thrilled to have your support. Uh, otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started with learning how to crochet. So today we're going to be looking at the single crochet and continuing on to complete our first project by completing a washcloth made from only single crochet so you get plenty of practice. So things you'll need is I have cotton yarn here. Uh, you can use any color but um, you'll want to use cotton yarn for your washcloth. Um, also we'll be using a size F hook if you can kind of see here. Um, otherwise it is a 3.75 millimeter hook. Um, so you'll want to check with each project what size hook you'll use and what kind of yarn you use, but those are what we're using today. So you'll get started by having a slip knot, which I've already done, you can see here. If you need help with that, uh, we have another video on that, be sure to check that in the video description. But we'll go ahead and get started, you want to hold on to the tail, and then we'll go ahead and chain 31. So once you've chained that, it should be approximately six or seven inches long. We're a little zoomed in here, so it takes basically the whole camera length. Uh, so once you have that now, we can go ahead and begin our single crochets. So you can kind of see each one of these chains in here. So we're going to go ahead and not in this first one but in the second one from the hook you're going to go ahead and put your hook through that top loop and yarn over and then go ahead and pull that through it looks like I went through two loops there so we'll try again go through the top loop here yarn over and pull through once you have that, yarn over again and pull through both stitches. And if you pull tighter, you can see it's a little more difficult to do. So we'll continue doing that in each one of these stitches, so it'll give you plenty of practice. So we'll go ahead and go into the next stitch here. So we have two loops on there. Yarn over and pull through. Now yarn over again and pull through both of those stitches. So we'll practice one more and then we'll just keep going through the end of the row. So we'll go through at the top of the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, and pull through both. Now in order to continue this, we will need to continue through the rest of doing single crochets through the rest of the chain. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that now.
Alright, so now we are on the last chain here. You're going to go ahead and do the same thing of yarn over, pull it through, yarn over again, and complete your last single crochet on this row. You can see we have a fairly uniform row here. Um, and one thing to keep in mind is cotton yarn seems to be more finicky than a lot of others. Um, you could maybe see in there that it gets a little bit stringier than um, most other yarns are better woven together, whereas this one you can kind of see it come apart as you're crocheting. Um, so good news is you finished the hardest row out of all of them. Uh, the first row is harder to get started, especially with this yarn that kind of unravels. But once you've done that, um, you should have 30 stitches on here now. Um, and remember, we skipped the first one over here, uh, so that's where we lost one. Now, to continue, we'll want to chain one. Let's go ahead and pull that through. And now you're actually going to flip the whole thing over. So now you're back on the right side. And we'll go back through again. So we chained one, and then we'll go in here. Now you can see this time when I go through it, I actually go through both. So it's almost like there's three loops on there. And I will pull through, yarn over, and pull through both. Again, we'll go through. You can kind of see these top two. We're going to go under that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's two. So we'll continue to do this for 30 stitches or 28 more. Here's three. And it is important to continue counting um, so that you don't end up with a lopsided washcloth. Uh, because if you do too few, it'll get narrower. If you do too many, um, it'll actually get wider. So uh, I'll stop talking now and we'll maybe speed this up a little bit. We'll continue these steps. Um, so after you get to the end of this row, you'll chain one again, turn your work, and single crochet 30 across. Um, you will repeat this uh, for to make 29 more rows. Uh, so we'll want a total of 30 by 30. So we did one. This is on our second one here. Uh, so continue until you have 30 rows, and we'll check back in when we weave in the ends to finish off you would like a step-by-step -step for this, head over to the blog where we will have a quick printout pattern uh, with steps for you. Uh, we'll also have some information in the video description. Alright, so if you've reached the end of your second row, uh, you should have something a little bit like this. Um, one thing to keep in mind, remember at the end here we will need to chain once again and turn our work. You can see mine's a little bit lopsided, um, so I haven't kept constant tension in my yarn, um, which is this. You'll want to keep constant tension. Another thing is to try and make it easier. I like to hold on to my piece of work, and that's why it gets easier the bigger it is uh, versus that small chain. Um, so hold it something like this, and then as you go in, on both loops again. pull through. So that's one single crochet and we are on our third row now so remember we'll want 27 more after we complete this. So if you ever do lose count of your stitches you can easily get back on track to count how many you are. You can see there's little loops at the top here so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, and you can double check all the way to the end, make sure you're still at thirty. Um, so this is approximately twelve rows in, um, so you can kind of get the idea. You can see if it's square so far, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, so, so far that's looking fairly square, which means that uh, my tension and my gauges are right. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and keep going for the last 18 rows here, and we'll check back in to finish this off. All right, guys, just checking back in. We have two more rows to go on this. You can kind of see where we're at. I can't zoom out much more with this camera. We'll go ahead and finish those last two rows and finish up our first project. So, just as a reminder, this should be row 29. Obviously, I didn't show you all of the rows on here. I didn't want to bore you with an hour of watching me crochet. Uh, so, if you needed to, you can go ahead and pause and check back when you are closer to finishing. Otherwise, finishing this is fairly simple. Um, so, you can just go ahead and watch the end and then go ahead and finish your project. So, as you can see, this is a fairly simple washcloth, just straightforward. Um, it doesn't have any fancy patterns. It doesn't have much for gaps. Um, so one way you could kind of spice this one up if you want to continue with the simple stitches versus doing something like a double crochet or uh, just combining stitches to create a pattern. Uh, you could go ahead and get the different types of yarn that have multicolor in it. Um, that would kind of spice it up a little bit. Otherwise, we will be looking at learning more stitches going forward. Um, this is just a great project to get you started and gives you lots of practice on the single crochet um, so you will feel comfortable with it as you approach more difficult or more complex projects. I don't know that any of them are get to be too difficult as long as you know your stitches well. And many of you might already be faster than me. I'm at kind of a weird angle here, trying to stay under the camera, so it's not a very natural holding position. Um, typically, you'll want this closer to your lap, um, so your arms aren't stretched out. But that doesn't give you a very good view on the camera, so I'm going to do my uh, chain one here, and then turn my work, and then this will be my final row. Not too much different, still doing my single crochets of insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. So for beginners, this will likely take you between an hour or two, um, just depending on how quick you get going uh, learning the stitch. Um, also, a few reminders are if you do quit in the middle of your project, be sure to write down somewhere what row you're on. Um, I usually try not to quit mid-row because it'd be hard, say if I set it down now, then I would have to count each stitch to figure out where I was. Um, so I would try not to quit mid-row. Um, and realistically, for a shorter project like this, it's ideal if you can finish it all in one sitting but I know a lot of times that's not possible so just make sure you write down on a piece of paper nearby uh, because it's hard to keep that in mind especially if you put it down um, until the next day or maybe even the next week depending on how busy you are so it's good to have notes on that I do find that crocheting is a great way if you're trying to avoid snacking while you're watching movies or TV or something. It's a good activity for your hands. Um, once you get more used to it, it isn't too difficult, especially on a simple project like this, um, to keep track of how many stitches you have. Um, while you're watching a program, obviously some of the more complex designs where you're adding, increasing or decreasing or changing between lots of stitches, um, then it gets it to be a little bit more of a challenge to watch TV at the same time. But you can see here we're nearing, we're on our last two stitches. Uh, last one, so we're going to do our single crochet. And then to finish this, we'll actually need to grab our scissors and cut off our tail here. 
Now once we have this, you'll just want to do kind of a slip stitch of yarn over, pull through, pull the whole tail through, and pull that tight. And then to finish this off, we'll kind of want to go through here and just weave this tail in through. So you can either keep going over, 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 or you can go back and forth. Um, However you like to see, we'll maybe do a little bit of both just to try and make sure that this tail, um, this yarn doesn't come through or come undone while we're using it um, because that will unravel a project. Um, so once you think you have enough of the back and forth or yarn through, um, you can go ahead and cut the rest of this off and you are now finished with your first project. Another thing is you can weave in down here as well. Um, so overall we have a fairly square washcloth. Um, that'll make great use either in the bathroom or for a dishcloth. Say for these uh, thicker stitches this might make a better scrubbing cloth. Uh, but be sure to head over to the blog for a printout of this. And if you haven't already, uh, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for joining us today.